Hello and welcome to Central Administration and Maintenance Building. My name is John Barnett. I'm the site engineer here. I also head up the energy management program here at Metro Water Services. Uh, Metro Water Services is a uh, water and waste services division. We have three wastewater treatment plants, two water treatment plants, and one biosolids facility. Uh, we also collect all the waste around the area and we also treat stormwater in this area. The new maintenance building here is a Net Energy Zero. It is a LEED Gold certified building and I'll point out some of these key features during our tour today. First, let's start on our outside tour. As you can see, the pervious pavers here uh, allow some uh, infiltration to occur instead of uh, all the uh, asphalt not soaking in the water that rains. This helps us in our lead certification. Also, the building that was standing here was recycled. 98% of it was reused in some form or fashion. There's also this nice bioretention area that all the runoff from the impervious area drains into and slowly infiltrates into the soil over time. We also have these nice low lighting areas so we don't have any light noise going into the air. We also have long overhangs on the, on the roof that help shade the windows during the daytime and provide efficiency for the office area. So come on, let's go inside and take a look at some additional features of this building. Welcome inside. Uh, a little bit about the building. This was built in 2021. We moved in in October of 2021. Uh, this building has several unique features uh, that help us to get to that LEED Gold certification. Uh, LEED Gold certification basically means that this is an environmentally friendly building with low energy consumption. Uh, some, some of our uh, electricity bills here will average all the way up to over $400,000 per month. So being able to save energy anywhere we can is very important to us. Uh, this building being a net, net zero energy building actually produces more energy than we consume here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, I, I do want to point out a few key features in this area that help us to get to the LEED Gold certification. All of the materials that were used inside of the building are low VOC, that's volatile organic compounds, uh, and that helps the environment not smell so strong of construction materials. So such as the carpet and the wall paint and even the ceiling tiles and the other material, construction material in this area have been thought about and, and put in place because they are low VOC materials. We also have a nice uh, lighting. The LED lights uh, consume less energy. There's also a daylight sensor that's attached to those lights that will allow it to dim when sunlight is coming into the building. One of my most favorite features here is the HVAC system. As you can see, each room has its individual control. This one is set where it can heat to a certain degree and AC at a certain degree. So every person in the building that has an office is able to have their specific comfort zone uh, programmed in in the uh, variable refrigerant um, HVAC system allows for energy efficiency and allows all of us to be comfortable to our own settings. Another key feature in our office areas are uh, occupancy sensors. We have them both on our lighting as well as our HVAC. So when you come into a room, the lights will come on. When you leave after 15 minutes, they'll automatically turn off as well as the HVAC after you're gone for 30 minutes. This will, will allow the temperature to adjust four degrees, whether it's uh, up or down depends upon whether it's wintertime or summertime. So let's go to the uh, low flow bathrooms and show some of the key features there. E 
even though we are Metro Water Services, we do like to conserve water as well. We have low flow faucets, urinals, toilets, and we've even thought about composting here in the restroom. All of our hand towels are placed in this bin and composted along with all of our food waste. From here, we'll walk over to the break room and take a look at it as well. In our break room, we even thought about efficiency uh, when it relates to our appliances. We have Energy Star appliances such as our refrigerator, our microwave, and our stove. We've even thought about how do we uh, reduce the amount of landfill material that we send from this facility. Uh, we recycle what material we can, and then we compost food material and compostables over time to, to reduce the amount that is going to the landfill. Now we're up on the roof. Uh, even though this isn't part of the building itself, it's a, it's a key feature that I do want to point out. We've planted several trees along the berm area. This allows us to treat all of the water that comes and flows down in that area. It helps with infiltration and it also helps us to reduce the amount of runoff that we have at this area. So it's a very key storm water feature that we've integrated into the plant itself. Uh, I do want to talk about energy. Overall, uh, all of our energy is, comes through NES. NES buys their energy from TVA. The energy portfolio that we consume includes less than 3% renewables. So it's up to Metro as a whole to make up that gap and, and uh, have renewable resources, renewable energy in our portfolio. So let's walk over and take a look at the solar panels themselves. Just to give you a better perspective, this, this building is part of our central water reclamation facility campus. We sit on over 50 acres here in Salem Town. This is the largest water rec reclamation facility that Metro Water Services operates. We treat about 120 million gallons per day on average flow. And our peak flow coming through the plant will range all the way up to 350 million gallons per day. We're going through a big construction, as you can see, with all the cranes and everything here. Uh, we are actually increasing our flow through the plant. As I indicated before, this takes a lot of electricity, a lot of energy is consumed here to treat all of the water coming through this facility. That's why we want to be energy conscious. We want to uh, save energy where we can. And this is a prime example of doing that. Up here on the rooftop, we have 514 solar panels. It generates 210 kilowatts of energy that's consumed by the building. Now, once again, this is a net, net zero energy building, which means the energy that's produced up here from the top on the solar panels, if it doesn't get used by this building, it gets used by the rest of the plant. So we will look at uh, some components down in our electrical room in a, in a bit. Just a little bit about the solar panels themselves. The sun shines, the electrons are transferred at the panel level. Those, that energy is, is brought in at a direct current 
and is sent down into the electrical room where it's converted over to uh, AC, which is used by the building itself. These two ports here are where the electrical goes down into the electrical room, which we'll go down and look at here in just a short time. Now we're in our electrical room. All of the solar energy comes down through here and comes into our inverters, where it's transferred from direct energy to alternator current that we can use within the building. All of this energy goes through a meter. This meter allows us to log in and actually see what production is occurring from our solar panels above. This allows us to monitor and also look for any kind of problems that might arise from the solar panels. All of this energy is fed back into our main panel. This is our, where all of our electricity goes out into the building. Uh, anything that is not used here with the building goes back onto our microgrid and is used at the central water reclamation facility. As you can see, we have a negative number. That's actually what has been uh, uh, sent away from this area and is used by other processes. This is the main reason for the building being a net zero energy building. Uh, we produce more energy than we consume here. It isn't wasted or put back onto the grid. It's actually used here at the water reclamation facility. Uh, all of this helps us to get to our LEED gold certification, as well as all the other uh, uh, things that we have pointed out along this tour. If you have any questions or would like some additional information on what we have talked about today, you can look up nashville.gov water. Thank you for joining us.